Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about simplifying algebraic expressions. What I'd like us to be able to learn by the end of this video and consolidate is to be able to simplify expressions such as 4 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Now mathematicians have a very particular way of writing this and I just want to talk to you about that particular way. So here's what we're talking about today. You'll remember from previous videos and discussions that 4 multiplied by x, this statement here means 4 multiplied by x, we can write that in the following way. We would say that is written by the mathematician as 4x. Now the reason we do that is the multiply sign here can be confusing. One could confuse it with a variable like an x, so we drop it and we just write 4x. Just as an aside, in some countries and some mathematicians actually would write 4.x there, just to remind us that there is a multiplication going on there. But for UK GCSE purposes, 4x suffices. Now 4 multiplied by x multiplied by y, how would a mathematician write that? Well, what they might do, the way you can think of it is, um, what they might do is the first thing they might say, because multiplication can happen in any order, let's multiply the x and y. Now, a mathematician would write that as xy to avoid confusing this with a variable. So we would have 4 multiplied by xy, which then we may drop the multiplication sign there because, again, that might confuse us. So we would write 4xy. And that's what we're talking about in this video. Remember a couple of things. In another country or in some foreign textbooks, you might see 4.x.y to mean the same thing, but in the UK for GCC, this is fine. And the other thing I'd just like to point out, a little aside, but it's worth noting, here, when I've um, been doing uh, this piece of work here, I've used the identity symbol. Okay, not the equal symbol. And the reason why is 4 multiplied by x, another way of writing it, uh, uh, some that in identical form, is 4x. It's not an equation we can solve. We only use an equal sign for an equation we're solving. When we're talking about two things that are the same as each other, but just written differently, we would use an identity sign. Okay, so let's move on with a few examples. We're asked to simplify 3 multiplied by x multiplied by y. A mathematician would simply write that as 3xy. Let's look at another one, example 2. P multiplied by Q multiplied by 8. Now we know multiplication can happen in any order. Multiplication is what's called commutative. Okay, so multiplication, for example, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 is the same as 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 is the same as 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and the various other combinations you have. So here, this is clearly the same thing as 8 multiplied by P multiplied by Q and we could write that as 8PQ. Next example. 5 multiplied by a multiplied by 3b. Now, I'm just, you don't have to do this, but just to make sure you understand, I'm going to break this up here before I combine it together. The 5 would be multiplied by a and then multiplied by, well, 3b, actually, if we break it up into its meaning, 3b means um, 3 multiplied by b. And we can rearrange this in any order we want. So what we might do is we might do the 5 multiplied by the 3 at the front, multiplied by the A, multiplied by the B at the end, which would be 15AB. Now clearly you do not have to show this working here. This is just for me to explain to you what's going on. What you can simply do when you see something like this, so if I maybe if I rub this out here, what you can simply do in one move is you can just say 5 multiplied by 3 is going to give me the 15 and A multiplied by B is going to give me AB. Okay? Next one. 
Now we could break it up as I did before, but we're not going to. We're going to just keep it nice and simple. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, multiplied by 3 is equal to 24, and we have x multiplied by y, which is x, y. Example 5. Again, don't need to break it up. We've got three variables here. We've got an a, a b, and a c. So let's do the um, 2 multiplied by the 4 multiplied by the 3. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8, multiplied by 3 is 24, and we have a, b, c. So a, b, c, like that. And just to finish then, I'd like you to try these questions yourself and check you can simplify the following algebraic expressions. In 10 seconds, I'll pop the answer up. Off you go. And here are the answers to uh, these problems here. Um, and I've written them up on the slide for you there with a challenge problem. Do note again, it's good practice. It's not absolutely essential, but it's great practice to use the identity sign rather than the equal sign to show that these two things are equivalent and identical to each other rather than an equation you can solve. Well, I hope you found that useful in your algebra revision. Thanks loads for watching. Tune in again sometime.